Get off, Melky! Come on, anyway, you know I'll catch you. I don't want to collide with you. Be careful over there. There's a super massive black hole. Huh? Where? Damn, you played me like a fiddle. Ah! Wow, it's kind of windy today. What the is going on here? <laughs> Apocalypse! Everyone, calm down. Nothing unusual. Just Andromeda finally bumped into the Milky Way. Nothing unusual. This is a galactic scale astonishment. It's the end for all of us. There is nothing of the sort. They'll just merge and become a new spherical shaped galaxy. The chance of something catastrophic happening is astronomically low. See? Is that the very incredibly unlikely event? Oh, darn. <sighs> all right, it was nice knowing all of you. I love and forgive you all. Wait, wait, wait! What is happening? With a one in a billion chance when two black holes collide in the centers of galaxies, a so-called pulsar can form. It's like a black hole the size of a planet, but both galaxies are compressed in it. Can you imagine the density? So what? Aren't there many black holes in space? But the pulsar not only devours, but also emits light. It's the brightest of all existing stars. And right now all that energy is going to roast us. So we should panic? You can. The death ray doesn't scare. <coughs> what a here fun fact. Some believe that life on me began right after I got bathed in the pulsar's light. The beginning and the end. Why are you so calm? What does it matter? We'll all come back in the next episode as if nothing happened. Guys, Earth has completely lost it from fear. Apocalypse! Well, that's how it is. I often think about questions like these. Cool. Why are you so smart? Ah! Earth, what's going on? I can't react that fast and figure out what it is. Oh, holy shit. Get yourself together. They're filming us. Damn, what the hell is that? It burns really bad. Ah! Okay, I hope it will be all right. Let's go see what it is. Son, what the hell was that? Why did a drop of lava fly into the moon? Oh, I didn't want anyone to see me, the most beautiful star, in such condition. But since you've seen me, I have to tell you everything. Go on, I really hope you will justify yourself. I don't know what it is, but throughout my life, sometimes some toxins come out of me. I feel as if I'm gonna vomit. But this nausea every time is different. Sometimes it's rays or splashes of lava. I do not know what else I can say. But please, don't tell anyone. Hmm, so... What could it be? I've heard about it, but I can't really remember. Ha! Ah, solar storms! Yeah, solar storms! I've never seen it happen, but frankly, I'd rather not. Yeah, I wish I hadn't seen it too. And better yet, I wish I hadn't felt it. Earth, if you know what it is, can you tell me? To be honest, I haven't studied this subject very well, but I can tell you some basic things. I'd really like to hear them. Then listen. Most planets, and particularly me, have such a thing as a magnetic field. I don't want to tell you in detail what it is. Because, Moon, you're too dumb for this topic. Screw you, tell me more. But Sun also has such a thing as plasma. It creates magnetic fields when it's moving, and this magnetic field forms some kind of particle flow. This magnetic field stores a huge amount of energy. Oh my god, that's enough. I don't understand anything. Straight to the point. What the hell flew in on me? And where did it come from? Well, okay. Sun's particle flow isn't always stable, unlike mine. Instead of this, it has something like this. Because of it, the sun has knots that get bigger and bigger over time. Like pimples on teenagers' faces. <laughs> it sounds like a disease. And then they burst and eject plasma and harmful substances into the solar system. That's what flew into you, moon. Here we go, sun. <sighs> what a naughty star. Guys, I think it's happening again. What? <laughs> We've done it with dogs. Now it's time to send a man into space. The calculations are correct. Let's build a rocket. Three, 
two, one. Let's go. By the way, <laughs> you know what? You won't believe it. <laughs> Just say it already. They really think that you're made out of cheese. Can you imagine that? What a load of nonsense. This is some kind of a weird satellite. What else did they come up with? It should have been us. That's not fair. How do we outrun them? Well, of course. Another brilliant day. Hmm? Strange. I feel... No, I'm almost certain that I used to shine brighter. Am I aging? No, 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 that can't be. I'm the sun, after all. I'm always bright and beautiful. Oh, Earth, please, Tao. Don't you think I... Um, well, dimmed a bit. Maybe there is some cosmic face cream that you know of. Uh, do you really want to know my opinion? Despite me always telling you that you're getting uppity for no reason. You're just jealous, but I understand you, so it's all good. Oh, well, in that case, honestly, you're not even the brightest star in our galaxy. What? Yep, if you look closely, way over there, see that handsome fellow? That's serious, and it's 22 and a half times brighter than you. This can't be. Oh, horror. It seems I should start looking for retirement homes for aging stars. <laughs> That's nothing. Ever heard of quasars? Quay what? Quasars. They're also called universe lighthouses. They form when two galaxies, the size of the Milky Way, collide with each other. As a result, a supermassive black hole consumes all the stars in both galaxies. And its magnetic field creates a bright glow. Oh, a glow? How bright is it? Are you really interested? Yes. You absolutely, positively want to know? Yeah. Quasars are 600 trillion times brighter than you. Oh, my goodness. Yep, that's right. Like I said before, you need to be more humble, son. So it means the brightness of all objects in the universe is measured by me? What? I didn't... Yes, exactly. I'm not the brightest, but I'm the only one worthy of being the unit of measurement for the brightness of all objects in the observable universe. Thanks, Earth. I never realized how important I am. Hey, Mars. Did you know that? Uh... You know? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. By the way, there's a new video.